Okay, I think I'm finally ready, but I think I might also want to revert <laughs> the last save just so I don't screw this whole thing up. Because I wasted five seconds! Five seconds is way too much time that I wasted. Oh no! Okay. Although it's taking just as long to get out of this place. It's five minutes. Ah! <laughs> I immediately die. Okay, let's take one from this side, because this seems a little bit less explodey. And closer. And the health pack! Analyzing. Here we go. We have five minutes before the okay, so this explosions might now. help me, but they're probably gonna hurt me a lot. But I did see a little bit of this, so this might be a possibility. I will not be here when things happen there, Cortana. I might need to just restart this once more, but I don't know. I have the confidence of doing this. And it's a lot more confident just watching, you know? It's just like, oh yeah, I can do that guy's warthog run. He seems easy to do. But, you know, if I have to just do this a couple different times, I think that's probably fine either way, because, you know, it's, it's only like five minutes. Five minutes is more than enough time for me to screw it up and do it a couple different times and feel confident in my near-death experiences that I have. Okay, this one I still want to be going over on the left side. And go nice and slowly. Yeah, 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 there we go. Because if I don't get forcibly ejected from my vehicle, well, I already have that achievement, but it also just makes me a lot faster. So... Second one. This is the place I need to go. And I'm slow at getting into the checkpoint. Known as, uh, shortcuts. Shortcut checkpoints. So it's almost faster just to go through the regular way. Oh. But I'm not taking any chances of not taking shortcuts, okay? Oh, this is another one that I probably want to be going across the top. It's the safest way, going across random bridges, which don't seem big enough for your warthog. Always the best option. But yeah, this is way more intense actually doing it than watching still. You just see the loading, and then you see your exploding. Okay, I think this is one that I want to be going through the middle. Yeah. It's probably for the best. Because the middle is the path of least resistance, but it's also the path of grenades. Grenade grunts of resistance, so that's a bit of an issue. Yeah, because I think those explosions... Well, that one explosion was them, essentially. Hey, look, a little, uh, shade turret that, uh, isn't even that impressive. Screw you, man. Screw you. Okay. I think this is, uh, coming up on another shortcut, which I don't want to screw up. Which I probably will. Wait, stop! This is where Fohammer is coming to pick us up. No, it isn't. Hold position here. Screw you! Screw you! Echo 419. Echo 419. Full, full hammer always dies. She's gone. Calculating alternate escape route. Oh no. one long fighter is still docked in launch base seven. I might if still be able to make now, it while make falling it. out of my vehicle like that. There's always a chance. And don't you forget it. Okay, it's like the second one, right? There we go. That's a much more clean entry way to a shortcut. Yeah, baby. Nice and clean, pristine, and possibly even mean, because that's how I will be if I don't get this. Because I'll have to do it again, and oh no. Oh no. All of this time, I yep, I think I need to do it over again. At top speed, I should be able to maybe make it with one minute left. Oh, come on! Yeah, kill me. Just kill me. I don't want to live anymore. <laughs> We're to last safe. Okay. Hey, that was not bad for my first, uh, attempt at getting a legendary run, Analyze. to be fair. I could be a whole lot worse, like this. <laughs> oh well. 
Still, I'm really just happy that I completed that one room with just like the death and destruction. Because that's not a fun room to be in, to be fair. Even though I had rockets. Ah! Still, that one, that one explosion might actually be beneficial to me, in a way. Now, I still can't get, uh, I want that health pack while doing this, but... Nope. There we go. I have basically no health! <laughs> I just love how much the Warthog just bounces around. But this is the hardest part, is just getting through this. The uh, first little bit. Not even the waiting is uh, close to being the hardest part. Oh. Whew. Okay. Because, uh... Well, they say hitchhikers might be expo exploding convicts. That's what it should be. That's what they always tell me, at least. Okay. Here we go. That's actually perfectly fine to start off the run like that. Because if you're gonna explode and uh, go crazy for a little bit, the first bit is always the best part. Okay, you know what? I think I might just go straight through the middle here. Because that one guy that was doing this on Legendary that I watched was being super careful and stuff. But, you know, I'm just gonna be reckless. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Almost synchronized with uh, the chief dying and screaming into obscurity. Here we go. If I do that to begin with, I think that's probably for the best, because <laughs> the explosion knocks over the warthogs. Okay, here we go. But still, it's amazing how she goes from saying, oh, wait, we have 15 minutes, chief, to uh, immediately, like, oh, so we have five minutes? Sorry about that, I, I didn't do my calculations very well. But I think the person that was still doing this uh, thing that I was watching, they are being careful because they wanted to get the achievement still not flipping over and stuff. But although if you flip over, you basically are screwed. Anyway, so there is that, but... You know, it's debatable. It's always debatable. Oh yeah, that's a wall. As I said, debatable. But hey, if I go full speed, I'm able to do some amazing things. Like that. Didn't expect that one now, did ya? Because, uh, nobody expected the explosion-filled chief to get through this. Because that's the biggest thing. All the explosions. I know I shouldn't be going through the middle, and that's probably why. Now I know. Because it's it's all about the more you know at this point. Okay. Can I get in from the other? No. Ah! I'm stuck! That's not meant to happen. I legitimately got stuck in there. I think I broke the game because they just didn't know what to do. Because the explosions are going off. This is happening, and you know what? Here we go. All the warthogs are flipped over, but the one on the left where I wanted to be. So you just gotta give me something to believe that I can do this. Oh. Heard that one song so, so many times from playing like Madden 08. Madden 08 was a good game. Not anymore though, because... When you realize that Ladanian Tomlinson is a ta terrible player, then uh, it just ruins ruins experience, right? It's, it's just an awful thing. Ladanian Tomlinson, why would you? Oh! Why does that happen now? Kill me. I dare ya. I'm reverting. I've never had that happen other than this time now. Maybe it's because I'm going too quickly. And if you go too fast, that's probably why the guy was so careful in going slow. Because if you get too far ahead of the explosions, then the explosions will knock you over because of... Well, boom for me. Boom is my worst nightmare. But hey, I'm getting better at turning corners. That's always a benefit. So you thought that I was going to be doing this in five minutes. It is going to be 15 like Cortana said. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant strategy. Okay, let's slow down a little bit just so that I don't explode. And also so I can start slaloming like a pro. So I think, yeah, there's the explosion that would have killed me. Which is kind of a strange thing to be saying about, but... 
It really is a major problem. Those explosions are worse than anything else they could have had. Oh. But there's always just so many parallels between this and how badly I do in uh, the Warthog race in Halo 3. You know, man. It's just so disappointing. Oh well. Let's go across the bridge, like, both of these times. Because the bridge seems to be a safe bridge. Like, look at that. Bridge of safety. That's what they like to call it in the Halo community. Okay, there's one. There's two, so I'm gonna go this way. So I get the nice slowdown to get through the checkpoint. I don't know why I like to call this a checkpoint, but it's probably because it makes me feel faster and more obscure in my ways of uh, winning. Okay. This is one that I definitely want to go across the bridge yet again. The bridge of flame safety, they call this one. Uh, the flames aren't going. There's the flame safety. Yeah. The next bridge, which I'm not going through, doesn't exist, so... It's all good. Another very important thing to be doing while you're warthog racing is, uh, getting very itchy. If you're not an itchy driver, you're not a good kind of driver. Okay, yeah, this is the one with the grunts, so this is the dangerous one. I'm pretty sure. Yep, this is the grunt one. Cause you just hope that explosion that's behind you is not grunts and not gonna hurt you. Although you know it's grunts and they will hurt you if you screw up. So don't. Be the best you can be. And just slowly pass the shade turret. Just still not quite the way it works. There we go. But I really appreciate- hey, come on. Uh, Cortana's love of faux hammer here. Let's just check. It was at uh, 220. Let's see if the timer does actually go down while you're moving. Or while you're not moving. Because if you're standing there and it still keeps going down, then that. Oh no! Yeah, that's, that's always good. Oh, it is still stuck at 220. So I guess that is just the place where you just have to be using that to your advantage. Because. <laughs> If you are waiting for Full Hammer to die, it actually stops the countdown for your life. It's really amazing, actually. You never would think that would be a thing, but Full Hammer is that impressive that she can stop time and space with her death. Okay, but it's, it's a good thing that Full Hammer is dead. Now we can uh, focus on the task at hand, escaping with barely any time and. Hopefully not screwing this up, because this is the hard part. Yep, here's- it's just hard get down- getting down that hill. Top speed. Come on, 30 seconds. I am the best! Come on! I don't think I can make it in 20 seconds. I think I had to use my brakes in some of those places. 14 seconds? Holy crap. Yeah, I suck at this. Like, I'm really bad. <laughs> Is it supposed to be this hard? I need to watch my video again. Cause I don't- I don't think this is a thing, man. Maybe if I should just stop thinking about it and just get going, then maybe it will be a lot easier. Or maybe I just need to just take my chances with these explosions and just hope for the best. Which one's the... the gas and which one's... I think that... 100 million degrees? I only just realized that now. That's an awful number. I think... The left trigger might be the brake or there might not be brakes on this one. Which is a bit of a problem. I think that this is where I am losing most of my time. Ah! Well... Yeah, restart mission. I screwed this up, I'm gonna restart the entire mission. Yeah, I'm gonna take a chance. I'm not gonna grab my health pack for good luck. That safety health pack is not necessary. Explosions, take me. <laughs> oh, man. This might take a while. I think I figured it out. 
What I, what I just did there is that I activated the explosion before I went into my Warthog. It seemed to have worked. Now I can just speed on through, but I think I might just go straight down the middle. Like, I'm just gonna say screw their strategies now. I'll do my own strategy. As long as I know the shortcuts, it should make a difference. Because the middle's fine. Look at this. The middle's perfectly fine. Other than this, which just slowed me down incredibly. Okay, that's actually really slow. Does it usually take a minute to get through this first room? I'm hoping so. I'm not gonna completely use my own strategies, but I won't completely not at this point. So I wanted to see if I can get there. I needed to also time out how long I think it would be that I'd need before getting through certain locations. Okay, yeah, going through there's a bad idea. The bridge of safety is always the best place to be. But yeah, I just go ahead, activate the explosion. There we go. And then I go into this, so I have a, a nice free way out with five minutes still. So look at this. Because it's as soon as you get to a certain point with the Warthog, then it starts activating. But those guys were supposed to die. That's the one uh, thing about that. They're supposed to die, but they didn't, so just keep that in mind. But yeah, I think the only way that you have breaks in this game is by pushing backwards on the stick. So you basically have to be very, very careful. Oh, boy. So, that's a thing. Four minutes to win it. Yeah, I think that I was really slow to get through this room originally. Like, look at this. It shouldn't take a whole minute to get through the first room. Oh, man. Just gotta watch the brakes. Always brake whenever you can. Because braking makes you faster. It's a thing. Trust me. Break while going up hills. It makes you faster. Okay. The bridge of safety. That's the first one. Let's see if there's a second bridge of explosion the safety as well. In tow for me. Or in stow as well. But I seem to be getting faster, which is one good thing. I haven't been checking my time, which I probably should be. Because the more I check my time, the more I realize if I'm going fast or slow for a certain run. But I might as well make this be the achievement run. So if I can get the achievement on this run, then that's a run that I'm happy with. Here we go. Bridge of explosion -y safety. Now the next one is uh, more dangerous, I think. Because, yeah, that's the room that I have to go through the middle. Which I suck at going through the middle, so I have to practice. Bridge of explosion -y safety. Middle time. Oh, because the left side is has too many columns and rows in the table of death. Oh, boy. So you want to keep your own oh, momentum, but you don't want to keep your momentum. That's the weird thing about this. So you just got to be keeping... I think it's all about the angles in which you move your warthog. So it's all about the right stick, not the left stick. The speed is irrelevant. It's about the turning. Okay. So it's, it's all about learning today. Learning while doing this. Okay. Go slow. Be steady. Stop wanting to flip your warthog over. Hey, I'm three Wait, seconds faster stop. than last time. Or two seconds, but... Hold position here. here we go. Careful, careful, careful. Cortana to Echo 419. Echo 419! Yeah, Echo 419 is just, just screaming at the thing despite the fact that nothing's happening. It's pretty impressive. Okay. She should have known about the fighter to begin with, I still think, but whatever. It's a conundrum. As everything is. Why didn't Fohammer just kill herself to begin with? <laughs> she didn't want to be living and it was awful. Why would I say such a thing? Oh. Such a sad, sad life. Okay. I really need to check what's a good time to be catching up to Fohammer, though. Because... See, this is the thing, is that she says top speed, but you actually want to go slow. Here 
Here we go. Oh no. How? How? I think that I should just trust myself. Just trust myself that 20 seconds is more than enough. Can I run there in 20 seconds? 17? How many seconds does it take to run across the world? It's the real question. Okay, that's actually a lot longer than I thought there. One minute from here. So... How many seconds do you think that would be? <laughs> Balls! Why do I suck so bad? That's the end of the game, though! <laughs> but... Well, I was at the end of the game a couple times. I just want to get this achievement, like, really badly. From reevaluating, I realized that I am worse at this than I realized. <laughs> oh boy, because, like, I'm like 20 seconds off, or something like that, from getting in that one spot. So, I need to get through the first room in like 30 seconds, essentially. Hey, everybody's dead in this first room. That's nice. Explosions actually benefit me for the first time ever. But yeah. I think I know what I'm doing now. Because the second room, I, I kind of screwed up. Second room, you're supposed to actually be better. Well, the first room, you're supposed to be better, to be fair. <laughs> but... Oh... Yeah, even right now, that's that's really bad. I was supposed to be up there by now. Uh, just keep sw swinging, swallowing, and swimming. Okay. I'm not that far behind on the first room. <laughs> I'm not that far behind. I mean, come on, man. Although even just going through these little corridors, I'm supposed to be faster than what I'm doing. I have to get through this room in like 10 seconds. Which is kind of a, a awful thing. So the Bridge of Happiness is not the best place to be going there. Oh. Hey, that's actually already a lot better of a time. Even though I did get here, I'm still a little bit short. Because that's like the exact same time either way as what I had before. Was that like 343 at this point? So I guess maybe that my first little bit is not bad. It's just the second portion of just like this that I just suck at. Because this is the Bridge of Dreams. Yeah? Okay. The Bridge of Dreams... It's working out okay. I think you are just supposed to keep on the gas like the entire time. So if you just keep on the gas, then your momentum just keeps you going forward. Yeah, maybe. I need to get to... Faux Hammer a lot better of a time, though. That's my one problem. Like, I need to get to Faux Hammer in like two seconds from now. <laughs> That's possible. Is it? Let's find out. Let's keep on the gas. Oh, yeah, that's so much better. Also, just, yeah, don't waste the time. Oh, that's. I'm better at this game already. I'm amazing. Okay. 20 seconds faster from that room. Ah, oh. But I still need to be better. Okay. Now I know. I think that, like, the, this is the first... The first half I need to get better at. And I'm just gonna practice a little bit. <laughs> I feel a little bit more confident this time because of the fact that my Warthog stopped making noises for its engine. No idea why. Ah, oh, there we go. There. That actually was a pretty good first room, I would want to say. And we go straight through the middle and uh, go. Yeah, first room, 30 seconds. That's really good. I'm finally starting to get better now. Second room is uh, on the left side, right down through the underneath portion. Because this is the other room that just like slowed me down completely that I need to be better at. We go left. Two rooms in a minute. Okay. So then this is also the portion where I need to be going through on the left immediately. It seems so slow, but I mean, at the same time, it's actually really hectic that you have to be thinking constantly of just like, what am I doing? What am I doing? Am I doing the best possible scenario for this? Possibly. 
Bridge of explosions and fun! Okay. My best run went downhill. Oh well. At least I'm still- I'm getting a lot better at the first two rooms, and the first two rooms are what really screwed me over most. There we go. So you just gotta get the health pack explosions first to begin with, because explosions knock me over and screw me over. Ow! There we go. I'll get to go. Feeling so much better. So yeah, just- you don't have any, uh, warthog noise for the first bit, and it just feels nice. It's like you're driving an electric warthog car of happiness. Okay. At least I'm keeping my momentum, like holy crap, that actually worked really well. Still, it's not 30 seconds to get through this room, which I need, but... It's not bad. It's not far off, almost. Might want to still restart this one. This one run, yeah, just in case. Okay, this might be a little bit better. 240 on the way to Faux Hammer. Yeah, that's actually really good. At least for me. Oh, Faux Hammer. I hate you so much. Every single time I get here, everything bad goes wrong. So you know what? Take advantage of this. Her, uh, take advantage of her death as much as possible. Don't grieve. Celebrate. I still have another kilometer to go. Whew. I think, yeah, I just need to go on the left side and then swoop around. And hopefully this might just be enough. Here's the most intense thing. My heart is starting to feel more than just a couple beats per minute, which it usually is, because I'm basically dead at all times. But, you know what? I think this might be possible. Gap in the trench? I have no idea what speed I'm supposed to be going through this, because every single speed I do is just, like, wrong. That's way too fast. Actually, that's probably... <gasps> perfect! It's perfect speed! Come on! Go, go, go! I can do this. 140 from this point, I think I do have it. Come on, handle, buddy, don't let me down! I might do it. Okay. We need to get aboard now. Run on the left side because it's safer. 20 seconds to run, 50 meters. You know what? I think that the Chief does have his running legs on. Yes! I did it. I can't believe it. I've been at this for an absurd amount of time. Never tell me the odds! It's a good thing I was actually referencing Han Solo there just because of that. Oh. I can't believe it. So at least I have that We're achievement, I think. Close. Watch as I don't actually get the rest of my achievements just because I didn't complete uh, Silent Cartographer on Legendary Solo. It was multiplayer. But, we'll see. I think it's probably the achievements will be happening once the credits roll or something. But this, this is what it's all about. This cutscene. Yes! <laughs> This is it, baby. Oh. Aww. That is the whole reason to beat the game on Legendary. The only reason. Not, it's not for the achievements, it's not for the Warthog runs that you can do with a minute 12 left or whatever I was able to do, because I'm, I'm just that amazing now. We do that first time, every time now. Whew. Man, I'm pumped up now that I actually got that achievement, because that, that was a lot of work, actually, to be so good for the first couple rooms. Because the first couple rooms are the hard ones. After that, it's smooth sailing until Faux Hammer screws you over. In which case, then it's all bad. But, it's all good. That and also, it's really nice just to see this cutscene. And just the Halo ring smashing into itself and just... Like, what are the chances that the one explosion from the one side would just propel it to be perfectly Did anyone else angled? Scanning. Just dust and echoes. We're all that's left. 
We did what we had to do for Earth. An entire Covenant Armada obliterated and the Flood. We had no choice. Halo, it's finished. No, I think we're just getting started. Yeah, because the people that made this game, well, Bungie, I guess, they realized that they're just like, you know what? We're on to something with Halo. So they always like to have something to tease that, you know what? We did something amazing, and we think that this will be a product that will continue on in the future. And did it continue on? Yes, it did. Oh, boy. And in the best kind of way. Because, uh... Yeah, there's been a lot of really good Halo games. There's been a couple that are just like, yeah, well, they're just okay. Can't really think of any of those ones, to be fair, unless you're counting, like, Halo Wars or something. Those are just okay, you know? Because they're not shooters, and I actually prefer the shooter ones. Hey! Believe in a hero! Achievement. Also, Living Legend. That one is for completing the game on Legendary. It's not even Legendary Solo, because they don't actually <laughs> have a Legendary Solo. Because even though this was... Yeah, Halo uh, CEA came out after Halo Reach. But, you know, they just probably just realized... Nobody would go in their right mind and play this Legendary Solo. No, that's not going to happen. It's only going to be co-op throughout the entire thing. Oh, that's That's really nice that I actually got that done, though. Because this is, it's a really good game. It's very, very difficult on Legendary. Possibly even more difficult with my skulls because I had to do the weird thing at the very beginning of my run just to, you know, gonna do a bit of a sidestep shimmy shake to make the explosions go so then my Warthog doesn't do quadruple flips and land on his nose just to start off the run. Because that happens because of the giant explosions. Whew. But yeah, that's... I guess the end of this series, unless I want to be doing, like, just cleaning up the rest of the achievements and actually recording that. Because recording on Legendary... Oh, man. Because you have to do the library in, like, what, 30 minutes or less? And then also do uh, Legendary without dying as well on uh, the library, too, so... I think I would be up for that challenge. It'd be an interesting thing to do. Or maybe, because this is... As always... This announcement of non-announcements, because I say it like all the time, like, I'm gonna start streaming, yeah, I should start doing that now. That's what I was originally thinking with Halo CEA. I kind of teased it before that, like, Halo CEA was the beginning of my YouTube channel, and it is kind of the end, in a way. <laughs> but not really the end, because, like, I'm thinking that pretty much in the next little while, I'm, I'm just wrapping up series that I want to be wrapping up with proper edited videos. After that point, I'm going to start grandfathering in, as they like to say, the new series as being like streaming, potentially. Because the way I record videos, it's basically like the equivalent of if I was streaming anyway. Unless it was something like this <laughs> little bit of the Warthog run, which I was cutting out many, many minutes and having issues with it. In which case, I don't know how that would have worked if I was actually streaming that in particular, because I I just be like, yeah, I'm just gonna focus for a little bit and just be silent. Okay, maybe I'll, I'll look at uh, the comments every once in a while just to be like, yeah, well, that was, that was a pretty bad run, wasn't it? I don't know. It's, it's a weird thing for something like this, but most games I play aren't on extremely hard difficulties and ones in which I'm going for an achievement where I have to be perfect. Because most of the things I can just mess around with and just, like, do we very well with, for the most part, so... I don't know. It's kind of a strange thing in that kind of way. Man, there's a lot of different companies that worked on this game. Didn't realize that they would actually have, like, separate credits for, like, each one of them, pretty much. But that's basically my idea. I wanted Halo CEA to be bringing in the new age of my YouTube channel. It's, it's probably gonna be a thing. Probably. If not, well, that's a little bit awkward, as it usually is, but hey, we'll see. We'll see how uh, everything works out, because I want to start slowing down, which also means more content. Because if I just only record in the way of streaming, then I don't have to edit. And that's the whole reason why a lot of people stream nowadays, I think, is because people are a bunch of lazy... 
sloths. Because sloths, well, I don't know if they're really lazy. They're slow. Because <laughs> they can't, they have a hard time being lazy, because if they were lazy and slow, then they'd basically just die. Those poor, poor sloths. It just takes them so much effort to do everything, so in the... In retrospect, they're actually the least lazy. It's so much effort to do everything. But, yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. Less less effort for me, because I... I like to have some time off, because I, you know, YouTube is not my job. It would be cool if it was, but it's not, it's not gonna be my job. I have a, a real job in radio of just, like, scheduling commercials, which is a strange thing to be doing, but... I don't know, I like kind of office jobs. Office jobs are fun. Just to be not having to worry about things. Just you have your set of duties that you want to be doing day to day, and then that's it. You're just like, oh, I'm gonna go home at five o'clock. Cool. And then uh, I want to go home and just like play video games. I don't want to have to be editing like every single night for a lot of the night and just like not eating properly because I'm just like editing and just focusing on that and trying to release videos. So I don't know. That's at least my uh, two cents, as they put it, uh, for what I'm thinking of that. Just because I wanted to put that at the end of Halo CEA because there's not a lot to say about Halo CEA. I already said everything that I ever wanted to about this game because it's it's a great game. It's a lot more fun with the the Grunt Funeral Saga because of how insane it is. But it's more insane with the lower, well, earlier levels without uh, all the flood. Which in that case, I probably should have started the series with the first couple levels. But that was before I even started recording YouTube. So. That's the kind of the strange thing, is that was before I even started my first video, which should have been December 7th, uh, 2011. It's been a long time in this journey of Halo CEA, a long time in my journey of YouTube, but, you know, it might finally be time to evolve, as they say, and actually change the way I do things slightly. Because the, uh, the art of gameplays, it's dying. As, as we all have seen, I love the gameplay slash commentary kind of style that I always like to name it. It's before Let's Play even was a word. But, eh, things are changing. Times are changing, it might be time for me to finally catch up with it, which means more time for fun. And excitement. And hopefully Kirby sta Star Allies fairly soon, because I want to be doing that. But also, uh, hopefully... <laughs> To finish off some other series, and namely uh, Just Cause 3, because I need to do that very, very soon. Either way, uh, there's no real reason to be looking at any more credits, I don't think. Um, and that's pretty much everything I needed to say. Hopefully you stuck around for uh, just my random ranting, because this is like a mini Kano Cam thing at the end of this. So I haven't done a Kano Cam podcast one-man thing in a while, which I need to, but... That's another thing that if I have the time from just streaming instead of editing. I'll probably be able to do a few more of those. Just have more fun with YouTube again. So, yeah. Either way, still, that was the series. I might uh, do a little bit more of just going back to do achievements, but who knows. Either way, goodbye for now.